If you want to learn how to get your finishing badges super fast in MH2K20, I have the perfect tutorial for you guys today. I go over the best methods, literally every single method, how long it might take to get all of your badges, and exactly what finishing badges to put on for this method. If that sounds interesting, make sure to stay tuned. Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Story of Sam, back at it again with a brand new NBA 2K20 badge tutorial. As you heard today, I'm going over the finishing badges. Now, the finishing badges are a pretty difficult category to get. They're not the most complicated. I think defense is the hardest to get, but I would say finishing are the next most hardest badge category to unlock. So, in today's video, I'm showing you the best way to get your finishing badges as soon as possible. Without further ado, before we get right into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We are almost at 800 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the support recently. It has been absolutely crazy. And I just want to say thank you to every single person that has hit that sub button on my channel. And also, don't forget to drop a like on today's video. It was aimed for 15 likes. 15 likes seems about a reasonable amount. And if we hit 15 likes, I will do a final badge tutorial on how to unlock all of your defensive badges. Without further ado, you clicked on this video to watch finishing badges, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So as you guys can see in the background gameplay, I'm simply calling for an off-ball screen on offense every single time, running through the off-ball screen, and then simply getting an easy dunk. Now, what I recommend do this every single time in the half court now this is the best half court method you want to bring the ball up with your point guard or whatever build you have then hold circle around the half court what this is going to do is it's going to bring the closest defender to the ball so you hold circle or b if you're on xbox and then you're going to bring one of your teammates to the ball and then once your teammate has the ball or on the top of the key as you guys can see in the gameplay you want to hold l1 literally just l1 or lt if you're on xbox or playstation hold l1 and then you're going to get an easy off ball screen from one of your teammates Simply follow the direction that the arrow is going and get the easy, easy dunk. And also, contact dunks give you more finishing badge points. So don't be afraid to finish on some contact. I'm going to be showing the best badges to put for your finishing right now. Now, on my build, I only get 11 finishing. So these are the badges I would recommend if you have 11 finishing badges. But as I said, just increase each of these badge levels if you have more finishing badges and a Hall of Fame finishing, which my build does not have. Just to clarify, you will not get the same amount of finishing badge points on different builds. So basically, you could have 50 points on one build, that's a pure finishing pie chart, and then 50 points on the same dunks on a non-finishing pie chart, and the pure finishing pie chart will get much more badge points. That's just how NBA 2K20 works. The more of something you have in your pie chart, the easier it is to get badge points for it. So there is going to be a discrepancy, but I think you could get around 15 to 20 to 25k, as I said, depending on 12 minute or 6 minute quarters, and also what your pie chart is. Now, you wanna do more things than just the off ball screens. You can choose to play defense. I put it in a half court trap, then I change it to man to man later. I would honestly recommend to just play normal defense. This is also a great time to get your defensive badges because you wanna be spamming square every single time on the player that you are guarding. Try to get an easy, easy steal. And if you can't get a steal, just try to force the team to miss because when the other team misses, you wanna dash down the court as fast as possible and try to get an easy transition floater. Floaters give you so, so much finishing badge upgrade. It is insane. So only do floaters or if you are wide open because basically how it works is it's determined by your percentage. So it's better to go like five for five or seven for seven from teardrops than going like seven for 30. So make sure to take your floaters smart and don't just try to force up floaters because trust me, that is not a good way to go. Only if you're wide open. And if you're unsure on how to do a floater, all you gotta do is sprint. And then once you're about to do the floater, let go of turbo and flick the right stick down and your player should do a teardrop. You should be fine without the badge. Just make sure you're doing the teardrops very close range. I usually go in every single time like an easy off the glass floater, which is very, very good. And also if you are on transition off of defensive play and you can't force up a floater, just simply do a hop step dunk or a hop step layup or a spin dunk or a euro or acrobatic layup. Acrobatic layups like that, hop steps, they give you more rep than just a normal standing dunk. If you guys don't know how to do a hop step, literally just sprint and then tap square and your guy will hop step all over the court for an easy, easy bonus in the finishing badge points. Now back to our off ball screen method. Now during this method, you can call for an alley-oop when you're running off the screen, but I feel like this is very, very risky. This does not work often, and I feel like just calling for a normal pass off the off-ball screen is much better. But if it is wide open, you get way more finishing badge points from finishing alley-oops. So if you're on a break and you're wide open, you might want to consider also catching an alley-oop from a teammate that gives you tons of rep too. And to call for a lob, all you gotta do is double tap triangle or whatever the button is on Xbox. But I know it's triangle for PS4 to request an alley-oop to be thrown to you. But as I said, I would recommend to play it safe on the normal off-ball picks and just go for easy, easy passes for easy slams. 
And if you catch the ball early off an off ball screen, you can always go up for a little hop step dunk. And what I like about the off ball screens is they're so consistent. You can go like 100% from the field. That is how consistent it is. And it's just a very, very great method. It is very consistent. You can always just, it's really easy to perfect this method is what I'm trying to say. As I've talked about, contact dunks are also very good. So if you want to try to hold your right stick down for more badge ones, you can totally do that as well. I recommend to put on gold contact finisher or the highest level of contact finisher that you can get because contact finisher is one of the best badges in NBA 2K20 for finishers. I was able to get my finishing badges. I got 11 finishing badges on my player and keep in mind, I don't have any finishing in my pie chart. Like it's not one of my main skills. So this would take me longer than you would have to take to get your finishing badges if you have it in your pie chart, as I said. But I maxed out my 11 finishing badges and I think one or two days. It was very quick. I got like eight, nine, 10K game, depending on the minute quarters I do. And I always do five to six minute quarters. The lowest minute quarter game you can. I'm pretty sure it's five minutes or six minutes, but whatever it is, I always do the shortest quarter length and I still got like 7k a game just doing that method and as i said i don't have any finishing in my pie chart so it is much harder for me to do that just to recap the best thing to do is teardrops but only do them when you're wide open on a fast break and that's why i think playing defense could actually be a good strategy during this method because you will actually want to try to get your defensive badges too because you want to try to get as many steals as possible so when you're wide open on the break either go for a floater call for a lob catch a lob do all stuff like that and then the half court sets when the other team scores Hold circle at the top of the key for a player on your team to come to you and get the ball and then hold L1, run around the screen and then call for a pass and then get an easy dunk, hopefully over a defender because you will get more badge points when you dunk over a defender. But even if not, you're still getting plenty and plenty of badge points. As I said, hop step dunks, acrobatic layups, reverse layups, hop steps, as I said, euros spins all stuff like that is extra badge points so try to do those as much as possible just be crafty just do a bunch of finishing moves and on transition is the most important thing try to get in transition as much as possible in the gameplay i tried to do more of the half court sets because that is more of the less self-explanatory stuff because in transition it's really just basic just go for a dunk hop step stuff like that but i really tried to pinpoint the half court sets because that is the method that a lot of people don't know about and it is a great method to get your finishing badges extremely extremely fast anyways guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on how to get your finishing badges fast in nba 2k20 if you did enjoy i talked about this earlier we we're almost at eight 100 subscribers if you could hit that sub button that would be great and don't forget to drop a like on today's video let's try to aim for 15 likes and i will do a defensive that would be the last badge tutorial i need to do i've already done playmaking i've already done shooting and if you want to watch those playmaking and shooting badge tutorials i'm going to leave them end screened right when this video finishes so make sure to stay tuned for those they're popping up right when this video finishes as i said have a great rest of your day it's been story of sam and i'm out peace